Okay, let's give the plants a little mist this morning because it was raining outside. They didn't get all the rain. We'll give them a little mist with this little spray bottle. Isn't she beautiful? She is so beautiful. Yeah, look at those leaves. This is the Monstera. So pretty. So this gives them, kind of mimics the rainforest feel for them. Hopefully they like it. Hopefully they like it. And this is our fiddle fig. So Kenton has some stuff. It's Father's Day, but he wanted to cook. So let's see. Show me what you got, boo-boo. So we're going to do um, kebabs today, grilled. Okay. We got bamboo skewers, and so we have squash, yellow and green. Yeah, uh, squash. Yeah, okay. and then peppers, okay, and pineapple. And then we have chicken breast marinated in a spicy teriyaki sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and assemble this, and then we're going to go ahead and um, grill it. I thought you also had. Um... Yep, and then we have tuna. Okay. So right here, so this tuna is in a spicy orange sauce. These are little, this is fresh tuna medallions, as you can see. Okay, so, and that's marinating also, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And so, but these, we're not gonna skewer, we're gonna place them straight on the grill, because it's, it's, it's fish. You know, it's a much denser fish, so it's flavorful, but you don't want it to break apart, so. But we have little medallions like that there, so. Okay, yep. nice. I suggested some onions as well, so that's what they're adding. Nice, Kareem. And this is gonna go out on the grill for how long? Oh, a short time, five minutes. Really? Yeah, it's, it's quick. It's a small piece of meat. It's the chicken breast, it cooks mm. quick. It'll dry out if you overcook it. So I'm clearing up, and I still have to sweep the floor. But before I do that, I thought I would put some greenery in here. The easiest way to add greenery in your home, if you don't have a plant, is just go outside. <laughs> Get some. And uh, it doesn't have to be growing. Add it to a vase. Instant greenery. Instant life. There you go. Statement. <coughs> Wow, that's a lot, right? That's a lot. What are we feeding? A whole village? <laughs> I just want y'all to see, it is hot outside. So yeah, it is super hot out here. Look at the flowers. You can see they look a little wilted. We put up the umbrellas, uh, but it's still super hot. I have to come clean up. See, it does get messy out here. To clean up, Put the cushions out. Kenton's got the grill on. Oof! See that smoke? Oof, 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 oof. Yep, it's hot. The hibiscus, though, they don't mind. They like the heat. Are they looking beautiful? The roses are out, too. They don't mind the heat. But the rest of us, is a little much. Hey boo, I'm coming to see you. This is a test run. That's fine. Right. This is a test run, okay. Does it need any oil or no? I got oil. Yeah, because otherwise it might stick.
So we're getting ready to eat soon. <laughs> it's Kenton, he's kind of tired. It's a hot day. Huh, honey? Yeah. All right, I was gonna make you a little virgin mojito here real quick. <laughs> Goes in a mojito? Yeah, I know what goes in a mojito, but the only thing we're not putting in is alcoholic. What's up, Kalidi? Happy Father's Day. All right, let's see if dinner's almost done. We're done? Yeah. Cool. I saw that. Is your pants falling off? <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's the uh, tuna. Tuna steaks. Yeah. Tuna steaks. Nice. Both of this. Mm -hmm. so this is coleslaw with uh, it looks like it's got cranberries yeah. and raisins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just fluff it up a little bit. <laughs> this is actually video, but it's okay. You like Mariam's hair, boo? Yeah, it's great. She looks like a Goldilocks. Kind of brown Goldilocks. I'm right, gonna make this mojito for Kenton. My lime juice from one lime, and yeah, this is concentrated. And then. We're gonna add some fresh mint. And I'm gonna smush it with this. And then we're gonna pour it into here. So that's our sugar and lime and crushed mint. And we're gonna put some of this Canada Dry. Probably a little too much, I don't know. Put some lime. And yes, this is not the authentic. But it's going to taste good. Refreshing. Refreshing and non alcoholic. Hey, boo. Let's see what you think. Oh, you need a mat? No. <laughs> Do you it's taste good. the mint? Yeah, yeah. It's Seriously? Uh -huh. It's not too sweet, right? It's perfect now. Yeah. Awesome. That's yeah, very good. Even you just don't miss a, the alcohol in it? It just needs a little rum. <laughs> All right, well, if you want to add rum, you add rum. These cruise ships, which are like mini cities, I mean, they load like 30,000 people on this tiny island. Right. Yeah, I didn't have any of the tuna either, but this I'm looking forward to the kebabs. So, Kareem and Daddy did really good. Did good.
I am a sweet tooth. Miriam likes salt. Miriam likes chips. Abu uh, Boo, that's your daughter. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to show them your dress, how long it is. Daddy, what do you have on your feet? <laughs> All right, can I have a picture? All right, picture. you're gonna pose? Well, I want you to pose no, first. Picture. This is my pose. It's gonna go like this. No. <laughs> Miriam, let your brother put his hand on your shoulder. Okay, okay, okay. Kareem, ask her. Khalid didn't do anything much to her. He just wanted to cut her hair. All right, just, just, just. Like, really, it's that hard to take a pic? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Welcome. Welcome back. I don't know if this is the beginning of a vlog or not, but we just went out to some ethnic stores and we thought we would share our haul. So take it away, Kenton. What? Uh, mini ahead. haul. <laughs> mini, mini haul. Anyway, so we found a nice little African. Uh, I love to um, explore, find little, uh, nice little mom and pop um, uh, ethnic restaurants and ethnic uh, uh, grocers. I support your local grocers, especially the ethnic ones. I uh, met a nice gentleman. His name is Williams. Really? Uh, you don't even remember his name? Absolutely, Mr. Williams. Um, and uh, he's from the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. Yep. Fine gentleman. And he owns this store. And uh, so we went ahead and explored a little bit and picked up some things, and they were reasonably priced. Um, so, so you, let's you, show you. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, and then also in that same shopping area, there was a, a little Spanish supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, and we went in there too to pick a few things. So it's kind of mixed up a little bit. But of course, uh, we got some red palm oil, and this is uh, refined. So, yep, let's show you. Yep. See right here. Now, I don't know, comment below if you know the difference between refined and unrefined and which one we should have bought. I want to use it to make like a stew. I, so tell I know me. the difference. Oh, you know the yeah, difference? Yeah, yeah. So, refined palm oil is usually fine in the very bougie side of town, like really? Beverly Hills, you know. Really? <laughs> and so forth. And the unrefined, like me, straight out of the country, man. So yeah, right. I'm sure that's not what it means. That's but, not what it means. But at the heart of it, it's gold. So but that's the difference. It just depends on which side of town it's from. Okay, moving right. on. So then, of course, you gotta have Maggie. Maggie. What do you know about Maggie? Well, <laughs> I know in Asian cooking we use it. It's a good way to get what is called umami uh, flavor, which is a right. more enriched flavor to it. People usually use soy. But, uh, Where is it made? Maggie. Where is that one made? Let's see. Well, this one. I don't know that that's a Nigerian version, but I wonder. Well, it's French because it's this is a oh. French version. Uh, so uh, there's another version that we use. But, you know, mm -hmm. actually, uh, Maggi is actually um, it's owned by Nestle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I see, so again, these large global companies, you find. But this is a nice way to add that, that, that rich uh, uh, soy, what do they call it, right. umami flavoring to it. When I grew up, uh, Maggi was on the table pretty much the same way we yeah. do ketchup here or the same way I'm obsessed with ketchup here yeah. in Nigeria. I just remember everybody had Maggi now, on their table. Now the only thing though is that for many people they right. use Maggi um, or Maggi mm -hmm. is because it has MSG. Oh really? So that's the only thing. So oh. in Asian cooking we do mm. use MSG. But I didn't just, know that. I won't be our, using Maggi then. So that's, that's <laughs> Not anymore because I, I avoid MSG. Right. But that's why you get the smaller bottle. But right. yeah. So, um, but that again, yeah, just to let viewers know, it does contain MSG. It's kind of like the flavor dough of soy sauce, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a little bit of a richer flavor. So, you know, so you don't okay. need much of it. All right. And of course, I always go for Blue Mountain. Number one, Blue Mountain, and then always uh, West Indian. Uh, curry powder. Jamaican curry powder, because uh, it has a very uh, distinctive flavoring. Right. Uh, versus uh, like standard have, Indian, which I is Madras curry. Indian, um, I have this brand of curry powder. Right. This is Javan brand curry powder, and this gives you a more Indian uh, flavored curry. 
This one has more coriander. The first ingredient is coriander and turmeric. Right. What's the main ingredient well, in that well, one? Well, it has turmeric, salt, right. coriander, but it also has uh, cumin, fenugreek, right. allspice. Mm -hmm. That's what makes a difference. It has allspice right. and uh, cayenne, uh, cayenne pe pepper. Okay. Uh, cayenne so, pepper. So, what else did we get? Okay, and, and of course, we got umfufu flour. <laughs> it's not umfufu, it's fufu. Correct him, please. It's, fufu. It's kung fu fu flour. <laughs> okay, it's not so. fu fu. What? And fu fu could be what? Plantain flour. Yeah, they have it plantain. It could be uh, yam. Yam. Mm -hmm. Could and be cassava. cassava. Yeah, this one's plantain. I guess this, yeah, this one's yeah. Pl plantain. But when I grew up in Nigeria, it was usually yam. It was mm -hmm. pounded yam. Yes. Is what I remember. Right. So, and again, this is no artificial. And uh, yes, it's very interesting. This is very interesting. <laughs> if, 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 I, I don't mind it actually. I like it, especially with the heavy uh, gravy mm -hmm. stews like and stuff. Like a spicy mm -hmm. stew. Spicy stew. You can stew. use your hands to pick it up with oh. the stew. But we don't really do that here. But one of these days, maybe I'll get the kids to. Yes, you get the kids to do that. <laughs> My right. mom, I remember in Nigeria with pounded yam, she used to add milk to it and kind of turn it into mashed potatoes, which right. I guess... All right. Oh yeah, this is definitely okay. West African. And of course, you can't have this fine snack here. What chin, is it called? Chin Chin. Oh, you remembered. No, I can read. This is Chin Chin <laughs> right here. Chin Chin. Yeah. Yeah, Chin Chin. Remember, remember right Chin Chin. Here. Yep, I grew up with Chin yeah. Chin. And, and so when you have your... Nice. Uh, uh, snack. It's actually quite simple. There's nothing complex about yeah. it to me, yeah. to be honest. It's just like fried dough pieces, mm. sweet fried dough. Sweet fried dough. But I remember it during like yeah. weddings or naming ceremonies or sala, religious holidays. Yeah. But you know what? Parties. The funny thing is that when I first had chin chin, mm -hmm. you know, it actually made me think of, um, uh, made me almost feel like a kid again. There's really? just something about it that's yeah. just like. You know, when you're little, when you're a kid and you have something sweet in your hand and you right. throw it in your mouth. You know, it's almost like mini cookies, you know? Right, That's really right. What it, it is. really is. It's yeah. like hard, dry mini cookies. It's like little, little mini, mini cookies. Yeah, but it, it, the flavoring just makes you like, think of your childhood, you know, when you were much, when you're innocent mm -hmm. and you haven't been married, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> right. It tastes like freedom. Oh my God. All right. So what else? All right. Um, was that all we got from the Nigerian store? Okay. Yeah, no, this can't. Yeah, no, I got this uh, from the Ni uh, Nigerian. Yeah. Well, you keep saying Nigerian, it's African. Okay, African, African, it was African. It's African, but it had common ingredients. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's dried fish in there. Right, and, and, and I, I was going to, but I just couldn't pick up the courage to pick up some dried fish and yeah, but, crayfish and all of that. Yeah. I don't remember Hausa people cooking with a lot of dried fish, to be honest. I know like non houses tend to mix fish with like beef or fish and chicken and all, but I don't remember houses doing that, so I, I really didn't pick up any, but I not to say that I wouldn't eat it. I would eat it. Um, it's just not what I was accustomed to. And, and of course, we picked up this. Now, this is not African per se. Right, uh, but it but was parent. there. Right, it was there, mm -hmm. and but it's common in a lot of ethnic stores, Asian, right. African, West Caribbean, Indian, Caribbean, yeah. I've heard, and it's actually an Indonesian product. Oh yeah. Yeah, but this one is, is coffee, uh, and then also your, your butter coconut. Coconut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So got this for the kids. For the kids. Okay. Yes, for the kids. And the then kids. we ventured into. Would you say it's a Mexican or Hispanic? No, a Hispanic, store? a Latino. Latino, a, a Latino store. store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You know, of course, you get you got your uh, wonderful uh, coconut, uh, yeah. refreshing coconut drink. Look at it. Look at it. It looks refreshing. Coconut milk drink. Okay. okay. And then, of course, you got your coconut soda. Right. So, what do you guys know about this? The Coco Rico. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know what? And again, this is a, this is also fine. If, for example, if you're stuck at home and and. and and like a uh, quarantine, mm -hmm. this makes a fine coconut mojito. Oh, really? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, or, or coconut uh, and rum mm. Mm, over ice. Mm. Not like I know about these things. I, no, I, why would you? No, of course not. Uh, allegedly, a friend told me <laughs> at one in the morning that this would be fantastic. All right, then I got some peppers. I don't know specifically if these peppers are, I don't 
Would you call these bell peppers? I don't know what these type of peppers are. Yeah, they're are red called. peppers. They're just, they're red. just red peppers. And I don't red think peppers. they're hot. Don't, no, but no, they're not I hot. I just love the vibrant color and how nice they're going to make my stew look and taste. Got a mango because you just got to pick up a random mango. And um, of course. this one doesn't have a strong smell, but I usually will keep them out until they smell really good. And then you know it's ready to eat. All right. Here okay. And then, of course, we can pick up some papaya, <laughs> pawpaw. Pawpaw, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, this is great, especially for uh, dieting. Uh, papaya has natural antioxidants, but also weight loss. Oh. You don't know that, so. I know it as a, it has a lot of good enzymes yep. for your digestive exactly. system. Exactly, so. and that's why part of the weight loss, it helps mm -hmm. to burn fat. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're not into that, it makes a great dessert. Right, with it makes some a great dessert. Leche, uh, or which is, um, you know, uh, like condensed, condensed milk. milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you mix that up mm -hmm. with it, it, that's fantastic as well. And also, you can use it for shakes and so forth. So, a lot of uses, and hopefully in the future, we'll do a segment only about the magic of pawpaw. Pawpaw, papaya, papaya. Give me my papaya. <laughs> and then we also got the customary mandatory mandatory plantain because you know like I could eat plantain pot every day. Yep. So that's what I got. So yeah, usually you can find plantain in any ethnic store, the African store, the Hispanic stores. Yeah, and, oh, you know, and, and, and also at Food Lion, if you have mm. a Food Lion, and, and I know uh, it's a store in the South, they also have them at Harris Teeter. The difference, but the key thing is that, again, you want to look at, you know, usually with many of them, is to look at the size and, right. uh, you know, you don't want them too small because then... Uh, See, like this one is ready. Yep. Right, this one could sit About out for a few day. days, day but this one is definitely ready. See, yep. it's got more black marks on it. Yep. Yeah. All right, what else should I show them that I got? Should I show them my hair? No. <laughs> you don't mix hair and food. You don't mix hair and food. Okay, I won't show you the hair I just went and bought from the uh, beauty shop. Because I am bored with my hair and I need a new hairstyle. So look out for another video. You'll probably, I, I don't know if I'll do a tutorial or just you'll see me with new hair. And I need hair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I messed it up. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Click on below. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And again, comment and let us know what things you like to see and so forth. All right. Love you. Bye! <laughs>